Hello! Hello, hello everyone, welcome along, hope you're all doing very well today. Uh, happy Saturday everybody, which is always good news to be here. My name is Simulation for the Nation, we are going to be streaming here live on Marble Manor Farm. So that's going to be fantastic. Uh, all I need to do is change a few little things here. Uh, excellent. All right, then. So we are good to go. Uh, now we're going back onto the farm. Uh, but before we do that, as always, let's say hello to everybody. Make sure we're all doing well. So hello to Farm Life, to Josh Davidson, Stevens here, Agri Spec Northeast Cumbria is here, Gaming Network 4K. What's going on, Mr. Maxim? Hello, William. Hello, how you doing, Deirdre? Welcome along. What's up uh, to Tractor Lad as well, uh, Adibu814 is here as well, King Scorpion, Quick Gamer, and Jeremy, hello, hello, how are we all today, what's going on guys, uh, I am in for Mr. Landy Kid, we're going to be going for uh, a little bit actually, um, so probably in the region of about 90 minutes I would imagine today, uh, which should be good, the dearest monk, what's up bud, welcome along, and hello to Conrad Richardson and Police March, how are we all doing, uh, we are, we've got a few things to get going with, so... Without further ado, let's see how we get on with that. Uh, can I just get a check to confirm that all the audio levels are sounding good to you guys? It's always nice to get that kind of all leveled out to begin with. Then whilst we do that, let's get ourselves straight into the game, shall we? Let's turn you off after that. Okay, so, uh, as you can see, we are currently standing by our... Uh, monstrous uh, Fent 930. Now we need to get that one up and working. However, we need to what's it, grab my controller. Uh, we need to get it all sorted out. We've got to finish off with a bit of uh, lime spreading first. Uh, we're also going to be doing some silage, so we need to go and get the rake going first as well. Tractor lad, what's up bud? How are you doing today? Welcome aboard. Hope all is well. Uh, Alright, let's see what we can get going. Um, so, so how you all been? How has your week been? Uh, what's new in the world? Nice to see a few more mods coming out at the moment. Oh, that's a big jump. Uh, I'm starting to... I wasn't very interested at the beginning with the dirt mod, but uh, hey, it's coming together now. I don't think it's all that bad whatsoever, so that's always quite nice. Um, and so yeah, I'm, I'm still not quite sure about the green tyres, but yeah, I can almost live with that. But this this guy's going to go into cosplay. You can see we've already started here. Uh, let's get ourselves up and away with that. Enough shows. Tractor lad, thank you ever so much for the £4.99 donation. Uh, I'm very well, thank you very much. Please, can I be a moderator? Please, please. Tractor lad, all you need to do to be a moderator is keep uh, turning up in the streams and uh, be involved with all the chat. And then once I've seen you around a lot and you're participating, then. Uh, when the next time I, I want to pick a new moderator, you will be top of the list. That's the best thing I can suggest that we do. Steve's Mods, welcome buddy. How are you doing today? What's going on with you? Uh, Scanny Man, hello bud. What's going on? How are you doing today? Did Mods get an update? I heard that in Dave's stream, yeah. Um, I mean, I like it. It does look good, but we're going to leave that to do its thing anyway. Whilst that's raking everything up, we're going to go and jump into to uh, get the rest of this lime spread. I did finish a little bit up off stream, so we're uh, or off camera, so we're nearly there. We've got only like the, if I look at the map here, we've got kind of the shorter lengths in the uh, west of the field. So that should be quite good. I'm doing very, very well, thank you. Very well indeed. Looking forward to... I am uh, streaming for the next four days on a, in a row, so haven't decided if it's all going to be uh, Marble Manor. Might do a few other things in there, but uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to doing that. It's been a long time since I've been able to stream so much, so that's fantastic news. Hey Nathan, what's up bud? How you doing? Congrats on uh, finishing, or well, getting Meadow Grove to the state of testing. That's been wonderful news. Really, really is. Can't wait to... Uh, to get that released and I'm really hoping it gets released across the board and console players can get onto that map finally because it's very much deserved I would say okay. MJ what's up how you doing sir and another uh, mapper whose map is almost ready for giants to start playing with I believe that's great news Oh, 
I'm hoping that giants kind of push maps through, not just British maps, but all maps through a little bit quicker, kind of give those a bit of a preferential treatment, just because we really need to get them through. We can't keep having uh, all these maps away. Pretty much done. I've got a load of lime in here. It's already not looking like it's going to be enough. And I can guarantee that case has slipped onto the... No, it hasn't. I mean... I'm not even sure how you've done that. It's ruined my rake is what you've done there. Jump ball, Russell, what's up, bud? How you doing? Uh, go. Check the lad, thank you ever so much for the 79 fence donation. That's, again, very much appreciated. They all are. It's wonderful to be supported. But we have not got enough front weight mods. That is true. That is true. This. I think we could still, we're not quite at the 1,000 uh, quota for front weight. We can't be far away. Okay, let's stop you right there. I've been to the action, which is in need of a wash. And away we go. So as you'll see, there is a little bit of a headland to do. Uh, but that won't take too long. What I'm going to do as well is probably I'll get this load done. I'm starting about here for this one. And then I think I'm going to go in and uh, get the fence going with the Amazon spreader. Because that's important to get set up. And then once that's all set up and away, then we're cooking on gas. Let's just get an AB line going first. You're too kind, tractor lad. You're too kind. As uh, our AB line, but I'm going to want to just incrementally increase that. Uh, that's almost good enough. Yes, we're going to have to square that bit up, but that's not too far, not too much of a problem. So, how's everyone enjoying Marvel? What are we all getting up to at the moment, guys? How's everyone's uh, farms coming along? Bad influence, keeping you awake all night in them uh, multiplayer. Hey, that happens. It's easily done. I um, I started playing around in Giants Editor last night on my own, and I was like, I'm just gonna do like 15, 20 minutes just to try and get everything up and working, and then um, I think I ended up putting it down like two hours, three hours later. I'm sure MJ and uh, Nathan know what I'm talking about. You just don't. You just find it difficult to stop before you know it's the small hours of the morning and you're uh, you're up way too late. Oh, that case is slipping again. Dear Lord. Plow only three grass fields in? Nice, dearest monk. So, off camera, I collected all the hay bales from field uh, 19. So that's all ready to... Collect. We're probably going to put some more... Uh, Put some fertilizers down onto there at some stage just to get us all up and we're working for a second cut. Uh, and then we need to get that field. The John Deere is all hooked up to the crow and forage wagons. We can get that all put into the pit. Hey, Night Creeper, what's up, bud? Where's the Richard Wesson trailer from? Now, that is available in a few different places. Uh, it's the link I saw was going around. Um, was going around Discord servers, and now I think if you have yet to do so already, it is available on WBF's Farming Simulator Empire server. Uh, and I know uh, Nathan, if you're still here, you'd probably be a good place to confirm where it's also available because I know you you were aware of that before I, I got hold of it. Uh, but I'm sure if you, it's probably available on a lot of websites now because these links tend to get passed around quite a bit. Am I Irish, Deirdre? No, I'm not. I'm um, originally from the north of England, but 
I live over in Canada, Canada now, so my accent's a little bit all over the place. I'm gonna have to go and sort him out. That case is driving me crazy. Probably get this kicked out a little bit wider, actually. Be the worst idea in the world. What time is it right now for me? It is 10 past 2 in the afternoon. And in between her. <laughs> You're not wrong, Steve. You're not wrong. Uh, you haven't jumped all, no. Uh, we have just pretty much got going about 10 minutes ago, just getting everything set up. The aim is to get this little kind of corner of uh, field 18 done. We'll get the fence working the way to work this into the ground and then that's all that can be left to its own devices uh yeah and then we're all good then it's on to silage really uh, i probably won't do the headland straight away i might leave that until the fence finished because i don't just want to keep crashing into that uh it's never ideal but yeah we're looking good are you out there yet uh nearly when am I ending the stream? Um, ba, 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 in about an hour and a half, roughly, I would say. So about just after around 8.30 UK time, I would imagine. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, I'm not sure we'll get... I said we'll do all this field, we might just go until the lime runs out, which is probably not going to be too far away actually. But first, let's go and have a, let's go and salvage that rake. I mean, every time. No worries, track lad, catch you later. Have a good rest of your day. I'm assuming it's going to start. Do I play GTA? Uh, I used to on PlayStation. I haven't played for a long time, actually. Down there. Hopefully, you don't mess this up. Really simple. You hear the Cornbrook boys are returning, Jeremy? There is a strong, strong chance indeed. We've had a few discussions about how we want to go, and I think VF and I have kind of figured out the game plan, so that should be good fun. Uh, yeah, but yeah, let's see how it goes, really. I'm very, We've got an idea or two that could be really, really good. Uh, so we're all being well. We should be looking into that over the course of the next few days. Run my keyboard very quickly. All right, All right then. So you you just can't stop now. Except there's two telegraph poles in here, so I'll be back two more times at least. The tears mug, I sure, I sure did, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, I really can't wait. Uh, I'm, I would be <laughs> amazed if he was able to do that, Jeremy. Uh, there would be strong words had if that ever happened. Probably more of a chance of him getting me in his beloved, uh, beloved New Hollands. Hey, Lancey boy, what's up, bud? How you doing? I see you've been making some pretty darn good looking models actually of late. How are you finding the uh, development of uh, in Blender? So yeah, we're not going to get this whole field finished like maybe I had planned, but we've got a fair bulk of it done, that's good enough for me. Hey, Justin! 
What's going on, bud? How you doing today? How many hours of work, Lancy, have you put into kind of honing your skills in Blender to date? Cornbread was your favourite series? That's fantastic, Josh. Great to hear. It will be coming back uh, quite how in the full format we don't know yet, but because we're waiting for the right location, really. Um, uh, I've yet to have a proper look around it myself, but VF is a big fan of Peterville for it, so uh, that could be something we use. That could be a great idea. But yeah, we're waiting to kind of see. Four months in Blender. Oh, nice. Hey, Will. What's up, bud? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hello to Mary as well. Welcome aboard. So, like I say, we've got a handful of lime left. We're not going to get too much done, but we'll... Uh, well, let's see what we can do. Uh, and away we go. I'm doing very well, thank you, Neat. And, uh, Will, very well indeed. Um, got a few things to get cracking with here, so I'm kind of looking forward to doing all that. So that's going to be good. Um, but yeah, ultimately just like having a nice chill that weekend. Uh, very much looking forward to it. You can just drive on once you do. There we go. Do I know much about gaming wheels? Uh, do you know what? No, I'm starting to look into them myself, actually. Uh, I typically never steer far away from... Uh, from Logitech, if I'm honest. Uh, not too far at all. But no, I really need to do some more research into them to find out what's going to be good. Because, yeah, I'm just... I'm at the point now where I'm nearly ready to get one. But, uh, yeah, I just don't know how to do that yet. Or which one would be good, or... If I need to go... I don't want to go over the top and be too excessive, but I don't want something that's not quite good enough. I am one. Welcome. I feel like you've been around long enough. Uh, they more than deserved it. Do I have a problem with the hitch on this machine? Mm, not so far. I'll keep an eye on it though, that's for sure. Oh, there it goes. Up. There it is. G29 is, yeah, here yeah, that's one of the best ones I see. Sam Huxable, good evening. What's going on, bud? How you doing? What economy difficulty am I playing on? Let's find out. Mm, 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 mm. I wouldn't uh, factor in my the money in the top right corner. I did add a little bit of extra money so I can just... My live streams that aren't about kind of playing with a realistic budget. It's about me just having fun more than anything else. And just go down here until it ends. Hey Paul, what's going on bud? I'm doing very well, thanks. How about yourself? How's your week been? Sometimes it gets in the bind if you go up with an incline. Interesting. I shall keep an eye out for that one. Peter Reynolds, hello. Hello, how are you today? Uh, 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 I'm to turn off. It's already off. Good. I want to turn off my lines though. Excellent. Are you stuck or not? Get that one going first, actually. It's like having to be a constant child mine. There you go. So we are going to be making this into pit silage. I just want to get it all kind of in at the moment. We're doing, the reason we're doing pit silage more than anything else is because we have some in the pit already. It's just not very full, so I want to get that all into one, really. Uh, make it worthwhile doing. 
Now, we're going to come back to that combine in a little bit, because I just found that today, and I really do like that. But first, let's get the old Black Beauty up and running. I love this Black Beauty, I don't know why, it just looks great. Well, no, we can have them first. Well, there you go. What's not to like about that? <laughs> Lancey, it seems like there's a lot of uh, unnecessary naming for steering wheels. I'm with you on that one. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Uh, we are on the right one, aren't we? Yep. 18. We'll do three wind work on the rows first. Uh, start and location, current vehicle position, direction, go! Give me everything I need. I'll take that. Uh, very much like this setup here. D920 is the updated. Ah! That almost makes sense. Have you got 4D modern trailers? I sure have. Absolutely. I have the main black to go with, match up with the uh, black beauty. Don't you dare turn right. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. So. This guy is the same as the in-game John Deere, um, however this is a forbidden mod. Uh, it's got a cool little few little features like a service ladder that you can put down to uh, get up there and service the combine. But it's got some great new cameras on here as well. I do believe, I haven't really used it in uh, earnest, that the, uh, the combine bounces around, like the, the animation for the camera bounces around when you're going over bumps. We've got the rape header for the uh, combine which can come, you just attach that, so that's nice and easy. Um, but We've got a, a camera for the grain auger, a camera for the pickup hitch, which I particularly like. That's a really good idea. Uh, but no, it's just an all around very nice little combine, actually. So yeah, if you haven't got that one already, that is available on Forbidden Mods, well worth looking into. Uh, we'll take the class down. We've got the hail stacked up from the field. That top bale wants to have a bit of a runaway, I think. Uh, but that little lean-to is going to be for hay and straw. We've got 4D Modern's Brawn flat trailer there, and then inside the shed, we've got his two, or two of his grain trailers. So we're pretty well covered for grain. I think I dropped a uh, pressure washer over here. Nope, okay, I'm gonna have to then. That was around there, that's right. Uh, once we get the silage in, we're going to get some straw. I bought uh, 16 bales of straw, just because we don't have any of our own right now. So we'll get that brought back to the yard. Uh, we have cows. We did have cows. Maybe I didn't save when we bought the cows, but we should have had cows. Cows? 
No, they've gone. So we need to bring the cows back in as well. Okay. CD is the trailer king, absolutely. What horsepower is this? Action Archie, this is quite a big one. Uh best way to tell you. I must have left the gate open, where they've gone. I think we've got the 940 here. Uh, so we're looking at 380, so it's a, it's a bit of a brute. I would love to find a good class uh, Ariane as well. Darn it, Steve. You've eaten all of my cows again. Told you about that last time. Uh, okay. Hey, American Farmers Gaming, welcome along, both. How are you doing? What's going on with your weekend today? Now we'll get this all done. Lovely. Yeah, let's just leave that there for now. I think we bought like 50 cows last time, so we'll get those bought back in. Even hunted around for water for them as well. Just off work? Oh, nice. Really nice. Yeah, all good here. All good. Uh, just realized I didn't save after I bought my cows last time, so. Um, rubbish. We've got money. We'll go to. There's that cows. Jameson, hello. Welcome along, bud. How you doing? Uh, so. So, 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 so. And we go into our forage wagon. Really? Come on. We're better than that. Drive on straight. There we go. Seem a lot of <laughs> greedier in 19. You think you're probably right there, actually. Oh, we haven't got quite so long a haul with the uh, with the silage this time around. But we're not going to get a great deal off here, but it's still nice just to boost up the size of our pit a little bit. Uh, and then we can work and get it compacted and sealed in. Well, hello, Simulator Gaming. Welcome along, bud. How are you doing? Has he actually finished? Doesn't look like he has. Don't forget guys, if you are enjoying the stream thus far, do hit that like button, it really does mean a great deal. And hey, if you're new and you've yet to do so as well, why not hit that subscribe button, come and join Simulation for the Nation. Join me in my little world over here. Oh my word, he has finished. Hey CD, what's up bud? How's it all going? Oh, Chinese, that'd be sweet. All is well with me, I had a lazy start to the day. Did a little bit of off-screen work and worked a little bit on, uh, on Marwell here. But yeah, all is good. Oh, 
Alright, we're nearly gonna get around in one go. That's awesome. For those of you who didn't see in one of the last streams, we did Field 19. The headlands on Field 19 and silage. It took forever. Right, American farmers? I mean, before you arrived, it did crash multiple times uh, on the first headland, but you're not wrong, it's still impressive. We're learning here. I, I mean, I must admit, I do need to re. I need to download the latest version of Course Play, but still, it's an improvement. This is the 8R. Hey, Mike J. I agree. Welcome along, bud. How you doing? What's going on today? Yeah, this is the 8R. I don't know. I mean, Giants kept it quite quiet that there was an 8R in the series, but uh, yeah, there you go. Ooh, that's going to do it. I can't see what I'm doing. Ah, there we go. So, we haven't got a great deal of grass here, so a little bit more never hurts anybody. Hello, Finton! Welcome along, bud. How's it going today? Yeah, you might be very quick. It's probably at the very limits. But it just is a very nice tractor to drive. Doing very well, thank you. Very well indeed. I really like little details, like with when you look at the steering here, you put it on full lock. I don't know, like the way that if you look at the right wheel here, the mudguard doesn't turn all the way because it'll get bent into the uh, the frame. Whereas you can just see that last little bit of wheel lock, it's just great detail. We use an 8R T8 Smart Track 900 and 1000. Wow, this, that's a heck of a setup. Alright, so we can now pretty much get around the entire headland without having to. Uh, stop halfway through, which is good news. That makes it nice and easy. I like how they've made a 6R, how it is, yeah, definitely. Oh, absolutely, it's a great little machine. Do the Spud Boys around me have uh, 8Rs on the and case magnets for bed tillers. Yeah, those bed tillers take a, heck, a, a fair amount of pulling, that's fair. Never really been involved with potatoes too much, but it's always something I'd like to, would have liked to have had a go with. Is it hard? It's not necessarily hard. What's the the difficulty with it is is babysitting them all, Finton. So, um, if you have a couple of trailers going, if you looked at Marwell, for example, the way that the 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 clamp is located, uh, you'd have to be very careful with how you set up the course play route because otherwise it's just going to crash every time. Uh, so it's all about practice of setting up that route and then. Um, after that you would be, you should be good, but like all course play, it's just babysitting it all really. I have to move that case now. Can't see the fent over there, but I can see where he's being cultivated, so that's good. Working away like a trooper. You got an ad? Oh, you're the lucky one, American farmers. They, uh. It's a minor miracle, a Christmas miracle come early. Whoop. Use a class forage wagon, that's still pretty cool, asthmatic. That's really nice. 
We've got a Challenger MT800D, 700E, and actually and then a little 6R. Nice! That's a heck of a setup as well. And so we're now done the second load here. I reckon. Hmm. That's the second load. I reckon six loads would probably see us through. Maybe not even that many. Hey, Finton, thank you ever so much for subscribing. I've just seen that pop through. I do like that Oxy's left this little gate here. Just so you can. Just to get a little bit of space to reverse back. Hey, Rupert, what's going on, bud? How are you doing today? I've just crashed. Let's try that again. Oop. They look like really smart machines actually, not that I know too much about them, or have used one, but no, they look really nice. Very impressive bits of kit. So, where we've stacked those whole, uh, hay bales, half of that, by the time we finish, half that will be straw, half that will be hay, and that should be us good to go. I am using the 8345, I think. Yeah, Another machine in need of a wash. Lord. I might need to get rid of one of these, either the case or the class, and get something smaller. Uh, I need a small bit of equipment that I can use to tug around the um, the cattle equipment, really. So the, the diet feeder, the mixer wagon, things like that. I think it might be the class, because I do really like that case. Six M would be a good stockman tractor. That's not a bad idea, actually. Not a bad idea at all. You can stick a front loader onto it as well, and then we've got two uh, loaders around the, the machine, around the farm. Good thinking. You have this on PS4, that's phenomenal, 143457675DE, great name. How do you find them, it must be such a relief to have another map on PS4 to play on. Is that right, Asmatic? Good lord.
Think they're making bits in that suit? Definitely. Definitely. Okay, now we're flying. Now we're into the rows here, and we're not. We're just over half full on our third trip, so that is good. That's really good news. Oh yeah, that's a valid point. It's hard to start on YouTube with subs. Is it, is it hard? Do you know what? You, it's you've just got to keep persevering, and it may. The hardest thing is getting to the first hundred subscribers. I would say. Uh, you've just got to keep battling because no one knows your channel. No one knows what you're about. You've just got to keep pushing through. Uh, once you get to hundred, the next target is kind of five hundred, and then I found once I got to kind of 500, 500 to a thousand was a bit easier again. So it's all just like the hardest thing is establishing that name really. And then once you get there, you just keep going. You have to start somewhere. Seven is not a bad place to start. It's better better than zero. Oh, the Deutz Fire. I did see that on Malta, but I didn't download it, actually. Uh, but no, it looks good. I saw it on Dave's stream as well. He seemed to have a good bit of fun with it. Alright, so that's load number three, I do believe. And uh, yeah, one, two more, we're just about to see us. Where is that tent? There he is. Doing a grand old job. He's actually making some good progress here. Nice, nice, nice. In like a million miles an hour. Uh, we'll leave that there. Actually, no, we'll take that because it won't be long until the until the uh, fence starts to crash into it. That is one way to do it. It's sometimes you need to mix it in with making videos, though, just so you're not a one-dimensional uh, YouTuber. But live streams are certainly a good way. You were not getting the jewels, though. Ah, there you go. Yeah, the Black Beauty uh, scheme is very nice. Wondering, uh, can you get the limited edition New Holland and Fiat colours? Um, not yet, I don't think. Didn't, uh, would be nice though, maybe one day. Oh, I don't know if you're still here, CD, but uh, congrats on getting the first mod up on uh, Mod Hub. Well, the first mod for 19. It's the start of something huge, hopefully. Another argument. <laughs> hey, Max, what's going on, bud? How are you doing today? Putting two full loads into the cattle. Interesting. Well, hopefully we don't have to put that much in, but we shall see fairly quickly. And once we kind of get the silage done, the lime's doing, or the fence doing its thing over there. Uh, next job, there's a sprayer waiting for us over at the store as well. We need to spray off the one... 
Uh, we need to spread field 15 and field 1. Uh, and then hopefully... Yeah, hopefully we can get going. Get some combine in them. Might even get to that today. Quite possibly. Mr. Virtual Farmer, hello sir. How are you doing this afternoon? Do I work with agriculture? Actually, I don't anymore. I used to. Yes, CD, no doubt. Um, like I say, hopefully there's going to be a lot more coming. I really do like that bale fork, actually. I was wondering, is there a locking script on there? How have they got the... How do the bales stick so well? And don't forget, guys, if you're yet to, do, of course, go and make sure you subscribe and check out Virtual Farmer if you've been living under a rock and you don't know who he is. Uh, something that we definitely need to do. Uh, predominantly one, because he makes some great content, but secondly, he makes some good content with myself. Uh, uh, he is the other half of Cornbrook Contracting, and if you're only watching my end, uh, you won't be seen at all. Uh, which is going to be particularly important, because we're going to be doing some kind of... Um, maybe like kind of one-off specials, I would say. That could be a good way to put it for the next few weeks. I want to swap our sprayer with one with a larger tank. That makes sense. There are some monstrously big, uh, monstrously big trailed sprayers at the moment. And they're really kind of up in the market for a trailed sprayer, which is very good to see actually. Okay, we're gonna just skip out that first one. You need a square uh, wrap bell hand on PS4. We need some more on, P on PC as well, actually. There's only one so far, and you have to lock the bales in because it doesn't work very well. But yeah, we could definitely do with some more of those. Love the interior of this tractor. This is rapidly becoming my favorite Giants tractor at the moment. Okay, so... Get the stick into here. Hey, Farmer Klein, what's going on, bud? How you doing today? How's everything down south there? Uh, Fifty degrees and sunny, that's just ridiculous. It's about zero here. Um uh, good news is though it is melting all the well, some of the snow. Do you think there's a chance of getting an English spray like a Bateman as a mod? You never know, uh Archie, you never know. Um it's you could always hope. Maybe someone out there wants to make one. You'll never rule out the possibility, that's for sure. It would be nice to have one, that would be sure, for sure. 
There is. I'm hoping that we get to see like a horse DLC or something. There are some incredibly big horse sprayers out there right now. Pull behind trail sprayers. Love to see some of those come into the game. Hey Will, what's up bud? How you doing? Welcome back. See if this one works. I'm pressing buttons on my stream deck to see if I've got them all planned and working properly. So far the success rate is 50%. Hopefully not, actually. Hopefully we see it very soon. Hey, Will, we've made some great progress since we last here. This field is almost completely finished. Uh, the fence is in there cultivating. All the lime is in there uh, finished. We used up a huge heap of lime. Uh, we have cows. And we're going to go and uh, trade in a downgraded tractor, I think, because I need something a little bit smaller to uh, be the stock tractor. Somehow it doesn't seem right sticking the feed-in wagon and uh, bedding machine onto uh, an 8R John Deere. This doesn't seem logical. And around we go. Don't think we're not going to get this all into this load, but there's not going to be much left of the other load either, so that's quite good news. We should probably. What do you think, guys? Should we buy another field somewhere as well? We have the funds available. It's been nice to get away from the, get away from the farm and explore the the map in a little bit more detail. I'm thinking maybe like field six. That wouldn't be a bad one, or seven maybe. Is Seasons coming to FS19? Uh, at some stage, yes, they are working on it, the original creators, so it will be arriving. Uh, it's just a case of when, really. Obviously, there's a lot to try and reconfigure for 19 with the way that the lighting works and the, all the other textures, but yeah, it will be here. Do you know if there's going to be any 40 double packs? Um, I think that the original creator, Matt XJS, was thinking about it, but... I don't think he's been doing a great deal of mod in the plate, I think he's taking a break, so... Yeah, maybe they'll arrive, maybe it's going to be a little bit of time until they do. <laughs> no worries, FK, you enjoy. Yeah, we're not going to get it all into one, we might... Uh, we'll get this little row done. But seeing the uh, the 40 dub packs back in here would be really nice, actually. They'd look great. Hey, GL Agri, what's up, bud? How's it going? Oof, we're into the... This time of day, like late afternoon, early evening on Marble Man, it is glorious. The lighting is fantastic on here. This is going to be an absolute minefield to try and uh, to roll. It's going to be brutal. Alright, so that is a good job well done, I would say. 
Uh, what we need to do, what I fancy doing on this farm, just to be a di bit different, rather than buying bagged fertilizer, we're going to buy it in bulk and we're going to tip it into one of those two sheds over there. Uh, because we have that big fertilizer spinner that we can un we that we can load up with a uh, with a bucket, we're going to buy bulk fertilizer. Did man you think I stuck loads? I am not surprised, John. It is a pain. I think I might drool up the uh, 80 f the 8R to do it. Uh, give it a fighting shot that way. Is there going to be a Gearbox mod? There is a Gearbox mod in testing or in development at the moment. It's on uh, GitHub. Um, but it does require... There are only... Last time I saw there are only a select few tractors where it works on at the moment. You have to transfer over all the scripts yourself. But I don't know too much more about it right now. But it's definitely there. Right, the last of the silage. It's quite nice to have this all done, actually. There we go. Which part of Wales is the accent from? It's not, actually. It's from the very north of England. But it's got a bit of Canadian in there as well, so it's now a little bit all over the shop, really. But a lot of people do say Welsh. Alrighty, this can get uh, stuck back into here. I'm going to have to move that pressure washer, because I'm not a fan of where I left it. I think that's going to be what we do. It needs to be somewhere where we can access it with all of the machines. It's a bit easier. There you go. I bet it does VF, yeah, it's, it's actually, there's a lot of shed work on here actually when you, when you look at it all. Come on, you're better than this. There we go. Been beaten by the rear steer temporarily. Hey, the moose, what's going on, bud? How's it all going today? The problem I have with the whole getting start from scratch thing, I like the idea, the concept is fantastic. And some of the mods that you have to build sheds with or build farms with are great, but I just know that I would never be able to make anything that looks remotely like the detail that's gone into here. Uh, it's just impossible. And so I don't really want to sacrifice the detail of this yard right now. Favourite aspect for 2019? Uh, I would say you're looking at one of them, the fact that we have John Deere in there now is really, really good. Uh, but the lighting uh, at times is, is just breathtaking as well. Like this time of night is glorious. Oh, pardon my yawn. Yeah, when you work the late afternoon, early evening, the sunsets are just fantastic. It's very well done. But like the fact that they brought in John Deere, I think without the fact that they did that, class wouldn't be in already because they wouldn't, I don't know, I just feel like without the established uh, connection with John Deere there, they wouldn't feel the need to jump on board.
Hello, Max. What's going on, bud? Welcome along. I finally got out of a decent snow removal event. Oh, nice. There you go. I could you not. The other day we had another... I don't know what it would have been. Four? Four or five inches, maybe? And I spent the best part of... Because the snow plow wasn't coming and my, my car was truly stuck. So I spent the best part of about an hour at 5 a.m. in the morning clearing out my car because I had to go to the airport. And... Um, I eventually got the car, I got a 4x4, I eventually got it unstuck, got it out, and somehow made it to the airport and back, and on my way back into the air, uh, from the airport, pulled into my driveway and the snow plows there trying to clear it all. And I, I literally shoveled the entire driveway. I was pretty furious about that, but never mind. Uh, okay, so first thing first. And get this case back here. Yeah, all this glass. I like that little area there. I might use that just to stack some stylish bills into maybe. That's a good idea. Love you, hate snow. Oh, definitely, the moose. Yeah, that's not a bad thing at all. Out the way, cows. You're family in Winnipeg? I used to live in Winnipeg. Um, but I live in, and I know where Medicine Hat is as well, through, through Medicine Hat. I live in, um, in Ontario now. Uh, but yeah, I lived in Winnipeg for about three years. Love Winnipeg. Uh, that can go into that shed as well. So I think we're going to get, should we trade in the class or the larger case? What do you reckon, folks? I'm tempted by the class, but I will uh, see what you guys want to do. We're going to go for a smaller tractor and put a front loader onto whichever one we get, just so we can uh, kind of do some stock work with it. Uh, back in the UK, I was in Northumberland. Do you want to trade in the case? Want to trade in the case? Case? Well, it looks like we're saying goodbye to the case. T6 with a loader, that could work. I want something like in that size. Eh, bye bye case. Well, we had a good run with it. It did well. I'm going to park that in a bit further. Right, onwards. I'm gonna go up this way. I don't use this road enough, and I do like just tootling along here. Catch you all later, Vip. I'll probably be speaking with you on Discord so we can get uh, some planning done. Hey, Edwin, you are not wrong. Yeah, neither was Mr. Vf. We are gonna be looking into something this weekend. Uh, just got a little bit of logistics to figure out, but yeah, it's coming back. That's excellent to hear, very pleased to hear that. Spent 700. I might try and keep, just for a bit of variation, a tractor that I don't have already. So either, it could be a Valtra, it could be Case, could be New Holland, Massey. I've already got a Fent on the yard. Oh, brought the rake along as well. Good grief. What a numpty. Oh dear. And also, let's stop here quickly. Oh, 
Oh, I see it's part of the pig farm area. Hmm. So, what about this way? I like field 8. What do you reckon about buying field 8 whilst we're here? I mean, we can definitely afford it. Sold. Uh, grass and grain likely will, Edwin. Yeah, um, I've been bugging Oxy bless him to uh, to bring Shamrock Valley back because I'd like to bring it back onto the same map. But yeah, definitely bring it back. If Shamrock never makes an appearance, it'll, it'll appear somewhere. Uh, but yeah, sure, lots to do still on that oh, on Shamrock Valley. Well, I guess I have to drop this off here. I didn't want to make a second trip, but there we go. Hey, Danish Scotsman, what's up, bud? Welcome along. Alright, let's see what we trade in value we got for this guy. The repair of this. Yes. Ah, not bad. So, we could do either a T6 or a Maxim series. We can do a Steer, which is effectively just a T6 with a different paint work. Uh, we could do an MC, no we've got a John Deere already. We could do a Baltra. Or a Massey, I think. Now what else have we got here? We've got Case, got Fant. What other details do I have for this? We've already got a John Deere, can't use that one. Oh. Meadow Grove roleplay please. Oh, that will be... That will for sure be arriving. We could bring a Ford in, or we could bring an old New Holland. Or well, this is the FSUK Valtra pack, which is not bad at all actually. That's a really nice one. Uh, we might actually go for this because we have a lot of different options. If I go... Bum, 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 bum. Uh, we do need that. Let's give it a bit of a bump up on power. That looks pretty mean. Get that one. Stick a loader on the front of it. And the first thing we'll need will be a bell spike, I would imagine. Ah, uh, yeah, I would just go for a bell spike. And then, we've got to feed a wagon, we've got a water bowser of sorts. Uh, we need... Eventually we might get one of those, we don't need one just yet, we can just use the... Uh... We can get away with using just the bale shredding point. I've yet to even see Ire Island. I know that it's getting close to being completed, but uh, yeah, yet to see or know much about that one, to be fair. I'm, looking, I'm intrigued by it. We'll have to wait and see. I am intrigued by it. We need to come back and get these bales at some point, but to do that, we'll need to get our... Uh, obviously, to bring a trailer back. We'll take the sprayer out here for now. Just finished milking, Jim Bob. Fantastic. Welcome along. How's it all going today, bud? Leo, 
Game Wood, hello, welcome. What's up, bud? How you doing? Uh, all right then. I love that like, color scheme. Love this little voucher. So we'll park the sprayer up. We're not going to use this right away. We do just need to get focused on the cattle. So we'll get them some water, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, the sprayer will be used to bring into this field though, because we do need to get the get everything sprayed off so it's in a position where we can get a better yield for our crops. I absolutely love this map, Liam. It's fantastic. Really, really is. Spent a lot of hours on here so far. Um, plan to spend many, many more. into there as well. This is becoming a de facto kind of little machine shed here and I kind of like its use. Unpark that class so badly, there'd be plenty of room in there. And one of my sub goal, well, there you go. That's awesome news. Thank you, everyone who has subscribed. 51 51. Look at that. That's pretty cool news. So first step, let's go get these cattle some water. Do you think class will come out on console? Whenever class arrives on PC, it will definitely arrive on console. If it's a Giants official partner DLC kind of thing, 100% it will arrive on console. It's just like it's just going to take a bit of time, like it is for uh, for PC. Really, there's nothing. They've only really just kind of struck up an agreement. So whatever they're going to do, they need to think about it, need to design and implement it all. So it'll be a while away yet. But yeah, it's good news. It bodes well for the future. Stuck on the shed. Heavens. Oh, that's close. Hey, Drew, what's going on? I'm doing very well. Stripe fires here as well. Well, come along, bud. What's going on? Where's that square bell grab from? Uh, if it isn't from the mod hub, it's likely from forbidden mods. That's all, pretty much all I know. Where most of my mods come from. On episode four of Marwell, uh, the bell grab, the blue one, beg your pardon, that is, oh lord, I have to think about that. That one there is from, I think that one's from FS17.LT or FS19.LT. But it doesn't, you will be quite careful with that one because it doesn't properly work. You have to, uh, every time you grab a bale you have to strap it in otherwise it won't work very well. Catch you later, Joe. Thanks for stopping by. Out of the way, cows. Out of the way. Just lift that up, don't want to. time we're going to what time is it now actually I've lost track of time probably going for about another 15 20 minutes I should think uh, and then we'll call it a day I will be back tomorrow just put yourself a new Fent 900 lovely stuff that's the spirit 
Uh, I'll be back tomorrow at the same time. Mr. Landicare is not streaming either. And then on Monday and Tuesday, I will be back at my regular time of 4 p.m. Uh, 4 p.m. GMT at least. Yeah, we'll get stuck into some more work then. Lots to do. Oh, it didn't get much, did it? Oh well. They've got to start. We'll stick this onto the trailer. We'll get one more load of water in there. We'll stick this onto the trailer. Go and grab those straw, uh, straw bales from up at the store. Had to buy some in because we're not ready with ours yet. Uh, cow kebab. Not wrong, John. You are not wrong. And then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get that straw brought in. Feed them a bale of hay or two. Life will be good. Probably need to make more hay because I just don't think that that's quite enough. Uh, we do have silage that obviously we need to roll down, but that's not, not there's a few grass bales that sn uh, snuck their way into there. Start moving. Oh. It is though. What's my favourite type of tractor? Liam, it's a Massey Ferguson. Oddly, I don't have a great deal of them on this uh, on this map at the moment, but yeah, definitely a massive older Massey Ferguson 6480 is my favourite. Although I do like the uh, 7700 series, that's like the 7718, I think it is. That looks really good. I like this little area of the yard, it's very nice actually. Very nice indeed. Ah, oh, no worries Jimbo. It'll always be up, uh, I, I always put my streams live straight after the fact anyway, so if you do miss them you can always watch them at kind of a later date. this for a while so we're just going to stick this back around here maybe not make it quite so ludicrously tight to get out there we go We won't take that one. That seems to have quite a hole in there. Let's go for one over here. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Where on earth did you get that? Oh. Good. I mean, thing just decided to charge. Anyway, let's get that all picked up. Always a fun day when there's bail physics involved in FS. Never a dull moment.
<sighs> Just want that bail. I don't want to make this too difficult. I think I've broken more than health and safety here. There we go. That should not have been that difficult, people. See if it's going to allow me to stick it into here or if I have to do more than that. More than that. Don't use the 7430 from it's broken. Ah, uh, figured. Oh, did it, did, did it just take it there? Wait. Yes, it did. It did. Sweet. Cows have food. Hope they bring back the grazing mod. Oh, yeah, the grazing mod. That was really nice, actually. That and the water uh, water trough. That was, that was tech modern, I seem to believe. That worked really well. All being well, there'll be two nice little additions to bring in, but we'll wait and see, I guess. Did that one disappear? Weird. Put it down here, I think. Uh, do I know what's going on with Bullet Bill's maps? I don't think he's uh, doing any mod modern at the moment. I think he's just kind of taking time away. I think that's pretty much the top and bottom of it. We'll see. We'll see if he ever uh, decides to come back in and get stuck in with it. Alright, so as it stands, we have a fully watered, fully fed cows, which equals happy cows. All they need now is some straw, so we'll go in, uh, let's take, mm, let's take the brawn trailer up here. This controller here, the joystick looks like a Power Rangers leg. Huge. So, the, the fence is coming along nicely, which means tomorrow we should be able to get this field drilled. We've got field eight that we just bought as well to drill. We've got fertilizers to spread in there and in the large field as well, so that's going to be good news to get those done. Some spraying to do in our um, into our cereal crop fields that are ready to go, and then some combine to do. So lots to crack on with tomorrow, which is going to be good. Looking forward to getting all that done. like having this little uh, track in here. It takes up so much time when you just need a quick trip to the store. I have already done quite a bit of bail work today, so I'm probably just going to leave this and do it off camera, I think. Uh, which would probably leave us in a great position to call it a day for 
today's stream. I uh, will be back tomorrow, as I mentioned, same time, 7 p.m. UK time. Uh, if you have enjoyed today's stream and you yet to do so already, do hit that like button and subscribe for more from me, Simulation for the Nation. That'd be great. I've had a wonderful stream as always. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, uh, do come and find us tomorrow and we'll have some more fun once again. Uh, I don't think anybody's coming up to stream after me here. I'm not 100% sure. But keep an eye out on all the uh, relevant YouTube pages anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your Saturday. Uh, enjoy your Sunday until we meet again. Have a great rest of your day. Catch you later.